So, which one do you take? That's a good question. Uh, depends a lot on uh, where you're going, actually. Uh, let's get a little bit more into it. So, uh, right off the bat, uh, keep in mind that uh, pictures and videos uh, made through night vision uh, don't always depict the real image 100% correctly. Due to modern hard-coded image processing of smartphones and the different shutter speeds of cameras, the images you get of night vision uh, might not always be true to color and so on. Uh, here we are using the same uh, Koonsrack uh, point of view recorders for all of the tubes so the comparison would be as fair as possible. In this video we are comparing US made LB Gen 3 and European made Harder Gen 3 against Photonis Echo. The first location that we are testing our devices at is about 400 meters away from a small village that uh, consists of about 15 households and the one street light lit parking lot 150 meters away in the direction that the devices are looking at. We can call it near urban lighting conditions as there's quite a lot of ambient light. As you can see all of the devices are performing pretty much the same. That's because there is a lot of ambient light and none of those devices are struggling. The differences will start coming out later when we go to darker places with less light. Currently, Echo has somewhat of a smoother picture and less noise, but a darker picture compared to the Gen 3s. You can see that the hollows are smaller on the Echo as well. Second location is uh, pretty much the same place, but uh, facing 180 degrees the other way. In the background, there's a road with minimal traffic 400 meters away. For an instance, you can see car lights approaching just around the corner. Again, here we can see the Gen 3 is being brighter with more noise and Echo darker with less noise. Also see how the foam difference uh, does not play a big role here because uh, there's a lot of ambient light present. It was uh, cloudy weather so the light coming from the village behind us uh, gets reflected back to the ground around it. Uh, notice the importance of near treated clothing. Uh, being just uh, 75 meters away from the filming spot with vegetation as my backdrop, you can see that that person is really hard to notice. Uh, that's the place where clip-on thermals like Cherry C5 uh, would really help you out. In conclusion, echoes are really good where there is some ambient light around. Now, let's get serious. Here we are deep into the woods with practically no ambient light, around 20 kilometers away from the nearest city. There is one road 200 meters away in the direction that we are facing and you can actually notice the change in lighting when a car passes. Here we can clearly see Harder being the winner. One thing to keep in mind is that those cameras are less sensitive and adaptive than your eyes. Meaning that all of these devices seem to be darker in the videos than they are in real life. It takes a toll, therefore especially with the Echo. Actually, you can see quite a bit more with the Echo, but the camera does not really pick it up. One thing to remember is that in very low light conditions, Gen 3 stays bright and produces more noise, while Echo or the 4G series goes dark and produces less noise. So similarly to your eye adjusting to the darkness in 30 minutes, your eye adjusts quite well to Echo in a couple of minutes, and you get a less noisy but darker image compared to Gen 3. So, in all fairness, the Echo performs somewhat better in ultra low light than visible in this video. One more thing, there's actually something even more interesting going on. Pause for a second here. Look at the US made LB Gen 3. Notice throughout this video how the lower foam unit is performing on par or even better than the higher foam European counterparts. That's pretty interesting, isn't it? Thanks to better sensitivity and more gain, 
you get about the same performance out of a 1500 FOM LB Gen 3 that you would get from a 1900 FOM Echo. Similar average performance across different environments. And that's about 400 FOM difference. Average meaning that one might be better in medium light and other in darker areas. So not exactly the same, but not far off. Here, pretty much the same lighting conditions as previous location. Imagine you are on an OP here, pulling security over the field and towards the tree line. The tree line is approximately 65 meters away. At the start, you can see the guy doing a good old bus saw with chem light and notice how hard it is to spot him just 15 meters away when there's minimal ambient light. Even though the person in question is on an open field. This is the environment where thermals really shine and are not affected by lighting conditions. This is exactly the place where we would use clip-on thermals. Uh, probably would not matter what kind of device you are using, if somebody would be in the tree line or directly in front of it with no light tunnel behind them, they would not cast a silhouette and you would not see them. Again, you can notice a car passing by from the light in the sky and when that source of light disappears, you can see the gentries being a little bit better in terms of contrast due to the brighter image. Little beach getaway with some laser blasters here <laughs> for those lads out there who romanticize water infills. Uh, this is how your opposing force will see you coming out of the water in your scuba gear like a real chat. Main effort of the beach test is uh, testing performance at different distances. Starting with 50 meters and a quick chem light waving around to see exactly how far are we. Some biodegradable tracer BBs here and there to fulfill our night game fantasies. Maybe even some AA LARP. Going to 100 meters, it becomes harder to spot an ear glow the person, even though he is totally in the open, but you can still somewhat see him. And just to push some limits, here's 150 meters. As a side note from experience, the hollow around the glow sticks is about the same size as someone smoking, so keep that in mind and don't smoke where you should not. Last but not least, here we are completely in urban terrain, where we would still use our knots, because there are dark backyards and dimly lit areas between the streetlights. So that's also the reason why we would still use knots here, even though we have streetlights on. Here we are mostly charging the ability to see beyond a fairly well lit area. Most further we went is about 80 meters. Here you can decide for yourselves, Echo clearly having better auto gating and uh, smaller hollows again. So, which one do you take? <laughs>